Hey there, and welcome to episode 6 of the Basics of Painting series. In this episode, we finally turn our attention to applying the first layers of paint to our miniatures. The base coating step in the painting process aims to create a foundation of flat colors from which subsequent shades and highlights are formed. For your first miniatures, this step may suffice to complete them, as it usually is quick to get through as well as a perfect opportunity to practice brush control and paint handling so as to achieve a smooth solid finish. In almost any case, the first base color should be that of the main area of the miniature. This way you don't have to worry about spilling paint in the wrong places until later when you paint the smaller details. I will start by painting the skin of the plate using an equal mix of pink horror and cadian flesh tone. To ensure a smooth finish, I will thin the paint down with some medium. As there is a lot to cover, a droplet of retarder medium will give me the time I need. Strive to apply the paint with multiple thin coats to avoid losing details. To do this, wipe most of the paint with a twisting motion off the brush. This will also give you a fine point to work with. When painting, try not to meddle too much with already applied paint in the process of drying, or else brush marks are formed. Instead, wait for the layer to dry and apply a second one if you aren't happy with the coverage. Paint with swift yet gentle unidirectional strokes. You should absolutely not paint with a back and forth motion as this will degrade the bristles very quickly. I will now apply a second layer to build up the intensity. Here you can see that the choice of undercoat has no effect on the finish given enough coats of paint. And that's about it for base coating. If you're not interested in seeing how I painted the rest of the details, you can skip ahead to the end for a brief summary. A timestamp is provided in the description below. I will continue by painting the skin of the higher plague stages using a 50-50 mix of Screamer Pink and Pink Horror, adding some Cadian Flesh Tone to it.
than pouches, I will use charred brown. Now I will add an equal part of Talern sand in order to paint the trousers. Also use this mix for the hair, but feel free to paint with other colors if you want to. I chose a dark metallic mixing lead belcher and black for the firearms and the grenades which will contrast against the vibrant skin and tie into the black leather as you will see in a moment. We can paint the leather with black, light and with bastion grey. create a striking rust effect in a later episode. For now, I will paint the knives and the terrain features using a 2 to 1 mix of tin tin and cold steel. Some additional details will be painted with pure cold steel.
and the press scorpion will be used for the bullets. Finally, I will use a mix of bleached bone with a small amount of pink horror for the bandages. And that concludes this episode, here's a quick summary. Start painting the major area of the miniature so you don't have to worry about spilling paint in the wrong places. Load the brush with only a small amount of paint using a twisting motion. Thin your paints and apply them with multiple fin coats using a swift unidirectional motion to ensure a smooth finish without obscuring detail. Hope you have enjoyed this series so far. Thank you for watching.